Let's do an example of a conversion using Avogadro's number where we use a compound rather than an element. So we are asked how many atoms are in 2.0 moles of sodium chloride. So we're asked to find atoms and the only number we're given is two moles. So as always, if you're only given one number, you're going to start your conversion with that. But before getting to the conversion, we have a couple of extra steps we need to do. First, you need to be able to take a name of a compound and turn it into a formula. In this case, both sodium and chlorine have charges of one, uh, plus one for sodium, minus one for chlorine. So the formula is NaCl. You then want to count the atoms in the formula. We have one sodium and one chlorine. So that's a total of two atoms per one molecule of sodium chloride. Or phrased another way, for every one molecule of sodium chloride, there are two atoms. All right, let's use unit analysis and do our conversion. Start with the number we're given, 2.0 moles of sodium chloride. We're going to use Avogadro's number, but we can't go directly to atoms. We need to use the intermediary step of going to the molecules of sodium chloride. There are 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules of sodium chloride for every one mole of sodium chloride. Once we have molecules, now we can use the works from step one and two to get to atoms. Also make sure to indicate that your units cancel correctly. From here, we're going to have molecules on the bottom so that it cancels, atoms on top, and from above we know there are two atoms for every one molecule. So when we go to our calculator, after making sure we indicate that these cancel correctly, calculator will we enter 2.0 times 6.02, exponent button 23 times two. You'll notice that it's all multiplying because the important numbers are on top. I can ignore the ones because multiplying by one or dividing by one does not change the value of a number. So the final answer is 2.4 times 10 to the 24, and I'm going to be sure to indicate my units correctly. This would be atoms. This would be the total atoms in this sample.